At this point in time, we continue providing food, providing livelihood, providing medical services, providing housing reconstruction. Fishermen receive new boats and nets. Farmers receive seedlings and training. People in city slums receive capital in order to start new livelihood. And all this is only possible because of generous people like you. You really touched our hearts by not abandoning us. When we started to ask for support, I was deeply touched by how our benefactors responded so generously, making all the relief efforts that were life-saving efforts for many people possible in Leyte. Without you, the first days of our relief operations, people would not have had any food, no drinking water, no medical care. And in the second phase of our rehabilitation efforts, without you, it would not be possible to give hope back to people. People who are mourning, who are suffering, who are grieving, people who are people sometimes without hope. It is your generous contributions that allow our missionaries in Leyden to be close to the people, to be with the people, and to help without any limitations. We thank you for being so generous in sharing your prayers and sharing with our missionaries and sharing particularly with people who are suffering because of the telephone. From the bottom of our heart, we thank you for being generous, for sharing with the victims of the typhoon Yolanda. It is your generosity that makes life possible again for people in Leyte. For that we ask for God's blessings. That's the only thing we can offer to you. God's blessings and our prayers, thanksgiving prayers for your generosity.